I have been waiting for this one to finally get here. Well, actually, it's not the first one of these that's arrived. It's the first one of these that's been here uh, that hasn't been pre-sold before it came in. This is a Cougar 369 bunkhouse at 11,420 pounds here at Haylet RV. And this thing is a hitter. Big old family bunkhouse, outside kitchen, full bedroom slide, full bunk slide, and windows on the door side with the big super slide. Now, as is the case with most of these big, big fifth wheels, when those uh, opposing slides close up, they get near that island, you can get to the bedroom, the bathroom, you can get to some pretty minimal uh, kitchen arrangement stuff here, but uh, the general aspects of the floor plan will be uh, lost with the slides closed. Thankfully, they're 12 volt operated, and with the push of a button, they open right up. And it's pretty obvious from the word go, as soon as you open those slides up, uh, this this thing is just straight beast mode. This is an improvement on um, a similar model that they had last year. Um, they've made a couple little tweaks. Uh, some, you know, it's the general changes they made through the whole Cougar family, like the bigger refrigerator, the uh, the full bedroom slide instead of a closet slide. They have uh, they have this thing dialed in. This is the best, strongest Cougar I've ever seen to date. Um, we'll start from the top down here. There's a lot of accent lights and whatnot in this thing. Like, actually, the uh, interior panel on that ceiling fixture, that is also just a uh, LED backlit panel, and I specifically left that off so you can see the contrast between all the different slide-out and ceiling light-up panels. They put a lot of good looks and eye appeal into this thing, but those are more than just eye appeal. That is a perfect little, like, night light system, those slide-out lights, because um, they'll, they'll give the living room just enough of a glow that you can safely see through everything without tripping all over stuff. I have this uncanny ability, you can ask my wife, to trip over the loudest thing in the room whenever it is dark and everyone's trying to be quiet. Like, you, you know when you're, uh, the whole family's asleep and you're trying to open a bag of chips and it's like the loudest bag of chips on earth. I'm the guy who always finds the loudest bag of chips on earth. When my, when my daughter was like nine months old, I'm a new parent, we're tired, you're strung out from being tired. And uh, I finally get her asleep in my arms, and I'm getting ready to carefully carry her upstairs to put her down in her crib. And I trip over one of her toys, and all of a sudden, bong ching, bong ching, bong ching, bong ching. All this stuff goes off, and all these lights, and it wakes her up, and she's crying. And I lost an extra hour and a half of sleep that night because of that. Those indirect light panels, my point here, if I have a point to the story, is those might help avoid some of that. Anyway, moving on. They are crushing the entertainment center in this, and really, what the 369 Cougar is, this is the 34 TSB Cougar half-ton trailer on flipping steroids. They go, everything's a little bit bigger, everything is a kick up, a touch nicer. We've got the bigger storage here. We've got this giant, I don't know what size this is, this is, boy, I mean, in your 40s, I would think, 40-inch 4K uh, HD TV right here, but... They put a big double jointed swing arm on this, so if you want to see it from the kitchen or the dinette, you can. But you can also access this. This is, in a way, like bonus hidden pantry storage. And just the extra inclusion of the drawers on each side of that stereo system, that's the extra stuff I see a lot of times get missed in this industry. Like a lot of brands, they'll put a nice colored accent Luan panel in there. And it doesn't look bad, but it's not functional like this. Now, this big, extra, large fireplace has been like, just that thing is just all sorts of popular this year. That thing took right off. Now, it is important to mention, the one that we're looking at in this video is not necessarily the exact one we have in stock. For instance, this is the darker decor. Cougar every year gives you one light and one dark decor. We find that the darker colors like this seem to be more popular in the bunk models, but standard, you're going to find a trifold high bed sleeper sofa here. We felt with a TV, big one too, directly across from the main seating, we felt that this was a better, stronger option for most folks. And uh, I mean, we're always open to interpretation and it never matters, however we stock one, even if we'd have put a hide event here, it'd still be wrong somehow. We always have that knack and ability. But the point here is, mom and dad on a rainy day, the kids have a private sanity room. You need a king and queen throne. Uh, you need a spot where you can kick your feet back and relax. Now, we do have double outside awnings on this, which is nice, 
But, uh, you know, there's just some days you don't want to spend all day, every day outside. You want to kick, you know, sit, sit down, kick your feet up, and relax. This has let you do that. Now, these are wall-hugging recliners, and that's specifically why I shoved that one all the way back. I reclined it and, um, well, I kicked it open and reclined it so that you can see it won't ding up, damage, scar, scuff your walls. It's in place so that you don't have to wrestle with that big, heavy fixture. Now... There's some brands with a similar floor plan, like your Eagles here. Standard, they'll have a pair of recliners here. And it's funny, because in Eagles, people seem to want recliners. In Cougars, they don't. It's just weird how that works out in the industry. Now, there's different dinette situations. I'm sure you folks are smart enough. If you've seen anything uh, on the internet, you know that you can swap different dinettes around. But what I love here, all these windows, and they're all equally sized. You've got symmetrical windows set up on this. They're all looking out at the campsite. You're enjoying your campsite, the windows don't face somebody else's campsite. And that's a nice popular thing. Is it one of those things that you necessarily have to have? I don't know that you have to have it. Maybe you feel that way, and that's fine. I mean, spend your money how you want. But it's nice. I think all everybody can agree that it's nice. They all open for max ventilation, too. Now, another little thing Cougar's done that's really sharp here is they went with a little bit nicer wooden uh, plantation-style blind. What I like about that, one, it's beautiful. But two, it is really rugged. If the kids smack it or if you actually elbow it because you're stretching or something, you're not going to bash and smash it up. It's going to hold together. It gets the job done in that way. Um, we'll come back. We'll look at the remainder of the kitchen. Let's look back here through the private sanity room. And this is one of those things that just like the 34 TSB Cougar, this 369 has done exceptionally well. Uh, for daytime, uh, second or extended living use on rainy days like the garbage weather I have today, well, that flip-up bunk and this, uh, you know, jackknife fold-up down sofa, it gives the kids the ability to have, like, their own little slice of heaven where they can lay down. Now, this is a surprisingly long uh, area right here. This is uh, just slightly over six foot wide on that fold-down sofa, so it's quite large, actually. You can actually sleep decent-sized big kids on there, and when you fold that jackknife down, it's bigger than just a standard single bunk, so it's a very good big kid sleeper. You've got a great entertainment center back here if you, uh, you know, allow the kids to bring entertainment. Some people, when they're camping, do. Some don't. I think the equipment package on a big cougar like this, we're already infringing on the definition of camping, but we're definitely RVing. That, that much is for sure. So, Here's another thing they've done well. A lot of times when you get an outside kitchen, you lose a bunk. You still have four individual bed spaces here. Now, this upper bed is what I call a big kid bed. It's extra long, or extra wide, rather. But what that creates is, look at this awesome array of dresser drawers right here. They didn't waste anything. They made sure everything had max capacity storage in here, and even a pair of big dresser drawers on the bunk below. And the fact that these beds are offset makes it pretty easy for the kids to be able to clamber up and down right there. All of your, you've got multiple sets of appliance, uh, well, like household outlets back here, so if you do want to add entertainment or you let the kids bring a, you know, system of some variety, a video game system maybe, uh, you can do that. And all kinds of great dedicated uh, like closet space all the way down to the floor. I don't even know how tall this is. I know that it's plenty taller than me, so it's probably going to be pretty close to uh, seven and a half to eight foot big giant like dedicated kid cabinet back here. You can fold up and stack up a lot of clothes back here. Plus, we still have all the drawers. You've got the space below and above the entertainment and additional drawers over here. They went, oh, I did uh, more lights for the bunks. Look at that. Wow, I, I miss that. That's one of the hiccups of being tall, is I often, um, I miss things because I'm tall. And little stuff like this, every room, even the bunk room, has its own little uh, light switch. Just nice little detail factors like that really come into play. Um, so where are we at here? Let me get my bearings. Uh, we talked about the ceiling, talked about that. Standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner up here. Now, at Haywood RV, our general rule of thumb is that any fifth wheel uh, well, really, not even fifth wheel, any trailer even that has a full bed slide with very few exceptions uh, is going to have a second air conditioner as well. And you may have actually spotted that. It's uh, um, You've got one air conditioner mounted on the, in the back or on the bunk area of this coach, and then one mounted up in the bedroom when you have the second AC. So with the air conditioners on opposite ends of the RV, the middle living room always gets good airflow because both AC units are ducted together. 
but it means that uh, you've got maximum cooling power in your bedroom areas at night as well. So the uh, refrigerator here is 50% larger than it was in the previous season. That 12 cubic foot gas electric fridge is awesome. It's very traveling friendly. If you lose power, it'll automatically change over to propane so you don't lose all the stuff that's in there. That is, this is my preference. I think they've absolutely crushed that. Solid surface countertops here in the kitchen. We've got a double basin 50-50 uh, split stainless sink. There are two sink covers. I just left one off so you could kind of get an idea. I love the very, very pleasing but minimalist nature of this high-rise sprayer type faucet. And notice when I pull that out, it's not like it's, I've noticed that some of these cheaper faucets, when you pull that out, it's like the whole thing is struggling just to not break. I've always worried about those bouncing down the road and earthquake uh, level uh, stresses and, and ha how they would hold up. I'm not worried about this at all. So the island here, they've done an awesome job in this. There's a huge storage space for a wastebasket below. You see you've got uh, dedicated drawers right in the island, and they were able to do that because they built the island intelligently. Instead of putting the sink dead in the middle of the island, which looks pretty, it's super stupid and not functional because it kills any potential drawer space you could have. This is designed well. Big residential style uh, a microwave in here with additional storage above. And uh, I love the fact that you've got that nice chunk of countertop space to the right of the stove right there with a power outlet. So whether you're looking to put coffee maker like there or over here on this big shelf, um, you've always got appliance space in here. There's an appliance outlet on the face of the island as well. It's uh, kind of black on black, a little tricky to see, but countertop space to the right of the stove makes more sense because the vast majority of us are right-handed. And I am sorry, my left-handed friends, unfortunately the world uh, just, it, it isn't fair to you most of the time. Uh, it is what it is. Um, great pantry storage or additional cabinet storage overhead and below. This is, uh, you know, they, they made this basically as big as they possibly could. It's not like these are false cabinets. These are full, big, deep cabinets. You also have a wall control switch for this Max Air fan above. And that actually does have a rain sensor. If it does start getting kind of wet up there, it will close itself down. So on a rainy day like today, um, you're not going to have to worry about being away from the camper and then like a freak uh, wave of rain comes through and you're not going to have wet cabinets and countertops and stuff like that. It's going to take care of itself. Another neat little thing. This is handy for, oh, did you notice that? I always forget to talk about this till it kicks on. Motion sensitive welcome back light. Now you can just hard turn it on or turn it off, but I got it on motion mode right now. So if I stay away from this thing, I think it's on like a 60 second timeout. I don't know if I'll talk that long. I know I have the ability to talk a long time, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't know if that's what we'll be doing. Um, instead of having a light on in the camper, which will cause your windows to light up, which will cause bugs to congregate around the door, the light turns on the moment you open the door, like a refrigerator. At least we assume the light turns off when you close the fridge. Nobody really knows, do they? <laughs> so, no bugs. That's the idea here. No bugs. Plus, oh, there you go. Watch this. Oh, right as we walk by it. Bang! So what I was getting at before that kicked on, the little touchscreen remote pad we have right here. So this can operate awning, uh, slide outs, leveling system, uh, a, a handful of other things. But what's nice about it is like when all of the doors are closed, like right now, I can't tell for sure if the bunkhouse slide can close unobstructed. Like maybe one of the kids left a drawer open. Well, you don't want to take the chance of breaking that drawer. So what you can do is you can take the remote back there. You can crack that door open. You can peek in there, look at it, and personally line of sight it to close it to make sure it won't crush. You can enjoy the same thing up here in the bedroom. We'll get there in just a minute. First, we're going to take a pit stop over here in the bathroom, which is kind of what bathrooms are good for, making pit stops. Now, uh, one of the things that people say... Let me turn the light on over here. Um, people say all the time, oh, they, they put the door on the wrong side, so you have to, you know, I can't fit through there. No, you can, you can position the door however you want. For travel mode, it locks to the left, but you can leave it however you want. Now you can see we've got a recessed uh, set of plumbing here so that the shower floor is the same height as the main floor deck. Lots of headroom in here. We've got a corner seat for bathing comfort. We've got a big linen cabinet over here in the corner. Like you can see how deep that wall is. That's how big that linen cabinet is. You can fit a lot of beach towels in there, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Porcelain foot flush stool, and we've got the um, like easy entry, melts in your mouth, not in your hand, bathroom door right here. Because what's nice about that, if you're coming up from downstairs, the door gets out of the way. So you can go in the bathroom without going backwards downstairs. And thermal foil kit, uh, bathroom sink. This is a sealed edge waterproof sink in here with a big vanity. You can get... 
uh, you know, your, your shavers and all that stuff and all your toothpaste and things in here, no sweat. Now something you may notice if you look around, and this isn't just Cougar, this is really just Keystone at large. They have like three inch interior walls. Every doorway is also fully framed out. You can feel a header beam, you can walk in and pound down these things, and you're never going to hurt anything in one of these by doing that. The idea here is, uh, and I think it's one of the reasons we have such just awesome service records with pretty much all of our Keystone stuff, is you have not just an exterior shell structure, but an interior load-bearing wall structure as well. So there's more points of contact keeping this thing in place. Now, this is a little bit new compared to last year. You can add a king bed upgrade like you see here, and that's a full 70 by 80 true king bed. So, I, what I'd like from you folks, I'm really trying to do a lot of polling this year, since this is new in like Cougar and Eagle, is, what do you think, king or queen bed? Now, uh, in a Cougar, if you uh, get a queen bed, which is standard, they don't really put any side stands. That's why they have these little side stands on the actual slide fascia. So in a cougar, I think I like a king bed because you're not wasting anything on each side of the bed. I think, but I would really love some feedback on that. If you guys can drop a note in the video description or something, that I would love to know. You know, what's the right way, guys? Because uh, so far I've gotten really 50-50 results. So I think no matter how we build it, it's going to be wrong. Remember, second AC optional. But again, I love plenty of lighting in here. There's even lighting in the slide box up here. Two of those I haven't activated quite yet. Um, the uh, front closet it seems pretty standard issue at a glance. In this size and category, uh, it's pretty normal. Like, you've got a little side stand over there with outlets. Uh, this is a uh, combomatic uh, washer-dryer setup over here. What I do like compared to last year, what they really did in the bedroom and bathroom of this is uh, they really looked at their, their big sister, uh, the Montana High Country, which is the next step up in the Keystone family from here, and said... What are you guys doing in the bedroom? Because you seem to be really crushing it. And they kind of compared notes with their sisters at Montana and said, you know what? I like what you're doing. I think I think we're going to jump into some of that. Now, we got a nice full walk-in height bedroom up here. I'm not ducking. I'm not doing the turtle head shrink or anything like that. But this just little touch, just that extra mirror up there, It, I mean, mostly it's for aesthetics, but it makes this whole area look big, comfortable, wide open, and it just lets more natural light bounce around in here. It just, it's an, it's the perfect little cherry on top of this sweet little Sunday. Now, just in terms of cosmetics, I think our, our Cougar fifth wheels, they're, they're easily some of the most dramatically changed from last year. Uh, they, other than the, the countertop, literally everything changed on these from last year. They changed fender skirting, they changed nose caps, they changed basically everything. Except the structure, and I am glad for that, because they have an award-winning structure the last, I don't even know how many years in a row, this has been a, a DSI quality award winner, and uh, they didn't need to change that recipe. It's zero degree rated, you know, they've got all the main things done. Um, it just didn't it didn't look as good as it performed and i think they've they've corrected that now just like the motion sense lighting we saw in the hallway you're going to see some of that here in the pass through outside tv hookups right there also an easy place where you could add a mini fridge now that you'll need to because this has an outside kitchen um big pass through unobstructed pass through too that's an improvement over last year but you've got the double slam latches and double magnet holdbacks and that double magnet holdback is an important thing to mention uh, this has an anti-slam friction hinge entry door. If you have that thing, because uh, it's adjustable, if you have the friction cranked up real high so that the uh, the hinge is really tight on that, it can uh, it can be kind of hard to close. You have to kind of slam it. Well, that could cause a baggage door to fall, except that's why they took the time and the effort to add a double magnet holdback on this so that wouldn't be the case. Now, Keystone owns their own paint shop. They don't have to outsource paint jobs. So that fully painted front nose cap, just like you'd find on Big Sister Montana Luxury fifth wheels, um, you know, you're, uh, you've are you got the same benefit of that. Quick little battery swap and we're back in action. So uh, as you saw at the very beginning of the video, um, I had all the marker and accent lights on and it just, it lights up gloriously. I'm just trying to conserve a little battery power here. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there about uh, our values, the insulation packages, and whatnot. What I like about Cougar is they don't try to come up with uh, fancy, nonsense marketing. They test every single uh, Cougar, make sure it's 0 to 100 degree rated, and then they make sure they got to build it any way that it, uh, you know they need to to make that happen. That being said, 
they uh, they've been zero to 100 degree rated for I don't know more years than I can count, and I can't count very high. So there you go. But anyway. Uh, full automatic leveling. Uh, what's nice about that? It's got a programmable vehicle hitch height memory. So uh, the, basically, the the fifth wheel can know where to drop to get hitched back up to your vehicle. That's just a nice handy little feature. Now they used to do this on both sides of the camper and they got a little bit of flack for it. So that's another thing I like. They listen to consumer feedback. They have just an extra little like tool chest right there. Um, you know, it's it's there when you need it, gone when you don't. It's extra little platform height. I also like their fully enclosed docking center something that allows them to achieve their cold camp ratings but one thing i want to talk about here like this is where you've got your your portable solar prep this is where you've got your satellite prep your battery disconnect you've got enclosed protected heated gate valves your black tank flush but you see this blue coil that's your outside shower but what i like is the way that they've done this here with that like air hose style removable hose it's got a residential fitting on the end so any sort of like garden sprayer handle you can attach to that use it at your campsite no big deal they have done more things on their slides uh, from a, uh, a quality control standpoint than most brands of which I am aware. That is an area that they have become ultra conscious um, because one of the what's the what's the number one concern I think anybody has. You folks at home watching this right now, you're go you want to make sure is it gonna leak? I don't want the camper to leak. Well, they've invested more time in engineering around their slides than pretty much anyone else I've seen here. They have. Um, interior wall channels so that uh, you know any water that may find a way to uh, slip through when the slides are going in or out on a rainy day gets uh, shunted away from the camper instead of going inside of it. They have uh, the uh, the trim at the bottom of the slide has a little groove so that water can't wick in under the subfloor. Um, they even, do, I mean, just little stuff like this. Let me uh, get up here. Man, it is icy, and I, if there's about a 30% chance, using math that I made up on the fly here, that I'm going to fall and hurt myself at some point today. But the, uh, um, like I said, little channel right up in here. Let me let me get under this so you can see it. I don't know how well this is translating to video, but water can't invert without assistance. So they make sure that if water runs down the slide wall, it hits that little groove channel and it drips. Start comparing against almost anything else out there. I don't have another brand of RV out here. We carry in fifth wheels. I mean, you got your, you know, you've got Forest Rivers and Highlands and Jayco's and Keystones and Keystones are the only one I've seen doing that. I don't think that other slide systems are bad. I think that they've just gone to more of an effort here. Another cool thing, not only does this have a walk-on roof, which pretty much any fifth wheel has a walk-on roof, but it also has walk-on slide boxes. Even the slide-out roofing is full walkable. They've added the same structural integrity there they have to the roof area. Um, it doesn't look like it because they use the same marker caps that like uh, a lot of brands use, but these are LED tail and marker lights. And that's one of those things I like to point out on a Cougar. Um, amazingly, even uh, a lot of larger fifth wheels still don't do LED tail and marker lights. And, and here you have it on a Cougar in a more effective weight, price, budget, you know. This is a very intelligently equipped product. Everything that matters, man, they nailed. Anything that's just kind of uh, preferential, eh, that's not who Cougar is. It's not a preference product. It's a meat and potatoes product. And at the end of the day, if you really start boiling down on paper, what do I want out of an RV? What does it need to do? What does it have to have? Cougar has all of those things. Anything else, anything it needs to have, it's going to have it. Uh, something else I like, like there's a lot of RVs out there, Keystones included, have three-year structural warranties. But what if you want to put a bike rack on a lot of those? Most of them, you can't without voiding your three-year structural warranty. And that's why we have this folding cargo rack on the back with that handy little, uh, you know, bike tie-down post if you want to use that. So you don't have to void the industry's most comprehensive three-year structural warranty. Because that's what Keystone has, is the industry's most comprehensive with more coverage on more items than anybody else with a three-year structural warranty. Big full-size outside kitchen is nice versus the low profile. Remember, they were able to give you the big outside kitchen without losing a bunk inside. That's usually the purpose of the low profile kitchenette. But... Again, they've done everything here that really matters. You have a real sink with a real drain, not the dog dish, and you've got one of these awesome capital grills. These things burn hot, they're easy to clean, 
and uh, you know they, just, they work well to your existing RV propane system. They seem to work a lot better than the um, you know traditional black RVQ grills. Now uh, I believe the second awning is optional on this. It's something that we put on basically all of them, and they're both easy tilt and both have uh, max length uh, LED lighting at the awning base. I like the light at the awning base so that you can use it um, even when the awning is not open because there's sometimes you don't want to have to open the awning just to enjoy the awning light. Um, I think we're pretty much good there. Oh, the easy tilt awning. It's also self writing. So if you leave it tilted and then you close the slide or the awning up, it's not going to break the awning arms. It fixes itself and then it comes back out normal flat the next time. And it's smart things like that that make me appreciate this product. So if you like what we're seeing here, give us a call. Number here is 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping this one. This one? Happy camping in this one? I, you know, at this point, a lot of people have probably tuned out. Hopefully, uh, this, this should go in the blooper reel. Why am I still talking?